What's up YouTube? It's me Jess and I'm an opera singer. A big shout out from the sponsor, happy new album release LP and to all LP fans around the world. This is LP singing the one that you love live. Let's go. pause pause um wow so i really really loved the beginning of the song first i have to say love the scenery this is a beautiful shot it just adds to the whole idea of just creating an atmosphere for the video i have to say i loved the beginning of the song i loved how you heard that really high whistle i don't know if you saw it in my jerk reaction and i love how it didn't pan on lp or the instrumentalist on the rooftop that was nice and then what was also nice was the purity of the tone within the whistle a b was the high register at which the whistle was whistled and then c she gave the whistle some vibrato wild I just wasn't expecting all of those goodies right at the beginning of the song that was nice I also have to say I loved the breathy tone in the first ish part of actually throughout the whole first verse now that you got what you It seemed intentional, and that's to me what takes a performance next level. And I will apologize now, I don't know what LP's pronouns are. Actually, let me look that up. Okay, pardon my ignorance, I just um, googled what LP's pronouns are, so I will do my best to say they and their, but please forgive me if I make a mistake. What I'm emphasizing is the way that LP is bobbing and weaving out of their registers using mixed uh, mixed voice or more breathy tones then bobbing and weaving into their more fuller chest voice, I often wonder, okay, why is this artist choosing to do this? Maybe it's easier vocally, but also, is it emphasizing or giving stress to a certain word within the phrase or the sentence? And I feel that their choices complements the idea that they're trying to emphasize or stress a particular part within the phrase. I will say I did feel that just after the first verse, right before going into the chorus, like the pre-chorus section, it seemed a little bit flat. and. I know that there's a very big style going on right now where word pronunciation is a bit more on the relaxed side. And I feel it felt a little bit flat to my ear just because of how relaxed the pronunciation or the vowel production is. Mm -hmm. 
I believe this is just a technique that is part of their style. I know it's something that's very common and even idolized now, where it seems like some of the words are swallowed and not really formed enough to where you can really grasp what the word is. For me, as a result, it sounded just a bit flat. However, when the chorus came back in, everything went back to normal. Everything was crystal clear, in tune. Gotta be a home and a place that you go. sounded fantastic. I promise we'll rewind and get back into the chorus. Man, I forgot to mention this before. I love the breakups within the instrumentals. That slight pause when everything drops out. Creates this tension to go to the beat. It's just a cool vibe. Love that. I have to say there was a cool moment when LP was belting a higher note and then it transitioned into an even higher note and resolved I believe to a lower note. Don't quote me on that but I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. What was cool about this moment was when LP went to go sing that upper belty note you saw that their face and their mouth was just in a nice open space, necessary to get out that note for LP. When that space was nice and open on that upper belty note, what was the result was a raised volume effect. It was a louder sound. Then when LP transitioned to the next note, which was higher, you saw that their jaw, their bottom jaw moved up, which closed the space. And that was her, the way that they transitioned up into that higher note. worked out beautifully. LP intuitively moved her face away from the mic when going to sing this louder belty note. And then LP's face went ever so slightly closer to the mic when they transitioned up into that higher note and their jaw moved up. I thought this was a cool moment because you can see what was vocally and technically happening crystal clearly during these one, two, three notes. Awesome job. Let's look up the lyrics because if I'm being honest, I don't know what LP is saying. Oh, she's saying got, not guts. Cause all I got is close but not. And all I want is to know just how. Try to be the fire for you, try to be the sun, try to be your home and the place that you come to. Babe, I took the whole world and put it in your hands. I'm really trying hard, but I don't understand. Okay, got the grasp of the lyrics. A cool LP effect is the idea of glottal attacks. LP uses quite a few glottal attacks when singing, especially in this song. Now a glottal attack is this sound. Uh... What LP will often do is start a phrase with 
this uh, a glottal attack or LP will even use that glottal attack in between phrases. <laughs> What this does is when used in between phrases, it creates this breaking up effect, this separation of note effects. It's a rocking back and forth from one note to the to the next and creates an opposition to the idea of a legato line. Now I am not saying this is negative at all. This is great to hear because every song doesn't need to have a legato connected line for the whole song. This is great because this is a specific stylistic choice that goes with LP and this song. It's another way to create variety within your pieces. <laughs> pausing that moment was everything one caught me off guard because the transition in between each phrases before this long phrase was smooth LP gave no hint that a long phrase was coming the breath that she took just before this phrase was a casual I'm keeping my calm I'm keeping my cool I'm relaxed type of breath That was amazing to see. What also was cool about this phrase was, okay, obviously how long it was, how high it was, but for me, how much vibrato she chose to bring on more than one occasion throughout this phrase. As we are learning or as we know, vibrato demands so much more air than straight tone notes. And in this long phrase, she bobbed and weaved using both straight tone and a good amount of vibrato. This lets me know LP has a great understanding of breath pressure, breath support, and breath manageability. So good. <laughs>
want to take a break. Oh, there's more. I'm just gonna analyze the song. I feel LP is such a vibe. There's something about LP's style, about the vocal choices that she chooses to do, the risks that LP takes when, when singing live is for me what creates LP and their package. I never once got tired of the music dropping out. It's just a vibe. That was a really cool effect. I want to go back to this idea of um, being more relaxed with your pronunciation and the way that you form your words. Because I know it's a big uh, stylistic choice within modern singers or singers of today. I'm not gonna lie, it is one of my singing pet peeves mainly because I really want to know the story that is being told in the song and I can't know the story if I don't know the words. However, I feel that LP can get away with this vocal technique because of how stylistic LP actually is. There is something about all that is being done within LP's performances that just make it captivating. Just looking at LP even, makes you want to know what is this person about? What is their story? What do they have to say? And that alone is an attention grabber and something that people want to latch onto to learn more about. I'm one of them. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and comment with a, hmm, they're wearing white, there's white background. Comment with a white heart in the comment section if you enjoyed this video. Lastly, make sure you check out my description box for ways that you can keep in touch with me, get access to exclusive perks, and or take a lesson with me. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.